So I basically just finished watching Elemental and had the epiphany and the muse to draw Ember just because I actually had the ideas of not only like just to draw her in the first place, but also like the way of drawing her. And I knew it would be kind of interesting and simple. So I just had to go through the process and record it, of course. The main thing I knew I wanted to do was that I really wanted to only have like a very basic sketch, just like basically of the pose only, and just like the general elements in general. Um, and then I just wanted to go right into the, the line art because I wanted to use like very thick, sort of like wavy, sort of obviously very fiery kind of like just very loose line art instead of going very like rigid and planning out the entire line art within the sketch. Um, so yeah, I really just I went right into it. Of course, the more important part being her actual fiery body, like the inner, like fiery parts, was the more interesting part that I knew I could do using the, the, the very like kind of like basically magical in my mind, vivid light and shine like layer mode. Still don't really like fully understand how it makes everything look so like light, like lit up, like specifically, like it's not even just like making things lighter. It's like literally making it feel like it's glowing in like a very realistic kind of a way. So yeah, I don't know what, like how that makes everything so perfect, but I knew it would work exactly perfectly in this case and I was completely right. But also since this pick was also so loose and like ad-libbed pretty much, I pretty much like went back and forth on so many like random parts of the drawing. Like normally I kind of like focus on one area, like I draw the head, like every detail of the head, then I draw the body and then I draw the arms and then the legs and I kind of like shade it in generally the kind of the same way. Whereas this time I kind of went back and forth and really just like was working on like the the effects on like the, sh the shirt and the dress and then like it went like and edited some part of like the line art detail and then like some of the inner fiery bits and all that just like basically whatever i noticed in the moment i went and fixed really quick and then just kept doing that until the drawing was finished yeah even though this was also like a really new process pretty much i knew it was also gonna be much shorter this only took me like an hour and 16 minutes to complete um, when normally it takes like at least like two hours or more to finish a drawing like minimum and like I feel like the minimum is more like two hours and 30 minutes really. wasn't really sure whether the my method of doing like the grid part of the dress was really going to work out but definitely as I actually just kind of like powered through it and made myself go through um, and actually add the effects before kind of rethinking the entire process it actually did work out pretty well it does look very like flat and stylized but also that's like kind of the whole point of the drawing so Normally I feel like fire is kind of hard to get exactly right, but in this specific case I knew it was going to be stylized enough to that I would really like kind of succeed with it. So yeah, I can see here I'm applying the yellow with the shine layer, the vivid light layer, and it's just like making everything like instantly like perfect. Just like I don't even really understand how it works at all. It just 
it's something about like even though it's like just all the colors end up like completely normal like they're just like normal colors you can eye drop and get the exact color still it's just like some way that like blends with all the other colors just makes it like perfect somehow i just, I just don't get it but it's really useful Of course, since there are so many parts of the movie where she's has more pinkish and purplish fire, it basically had to go farther down that direction because I obviously love uh, pink and purple fire more than just plain old red fire. At least when I could get away with it, all the fire gets more and more pink as the time goes on in the drawing. Her eyes ended up kind of weird at first, but again, I kind of just like powered through it and just put all the effects in that I wanted and then it actually ended up pretty nice, so I didn't really have to worry about it in the end. adding a watermark, a rare watermark in my drawings because I know someone somewhere is probably going to take it and post it somewhere else without any credit because that's always what happens with fan art so I might as well at least have some marking to show it's mine even though it's not really helpful considering it doesn't actually like have a link or a name or anything in it but I guess it just looks better than having a, a basic signature anyway. Pretty much everything else is just fine-tuning every little tiny little bit so there's nothing really else to talk about definitely like how it turned out though for something that was just kind of like done on a whim 